Hey guys, it's me, Jenny B. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We left off reading our poem to each and every one of these lovely ladies. So we have Sayori next and Natsuki. Um, I'm gonna go with Sayori. Yeah, Sayori. This is a good poem, Jenny. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. Thanks for having such expectations on me, Sayori. It reminds me of how you really get a part of the club now. How you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Jenny. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason of part of the she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, if you read my poem too, don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Okay, dear sunshine, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> I loved it. So Yori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, I guess that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Oh, sh hers was quick. Okay, so we'll go straight to Natsuki then. That didn't take long at all. Um. <clears throat> hey. Ah, Natsuki. Well... It's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just... It just didn't evoke any emotions. So, basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Name of the poem. 
Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> okay. Um. Very nice. That was nice. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. It's like it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess... guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I really don't care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Whew! I guess that's everyone. It's all poems. Whew! I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I... That's what... I guess that's what I end, ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read tandem, I watch each, other, watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. How do you smile? I don't know. I don't know how do you smile sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Jimmy did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ho oh, ho! Yuri! Oh my god, so petty! Mm. And Jenny liked my poem too, you know. She even told me she was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Jenny appreciates my advice more than she appreciates yours. Huh? How do you know he, she didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that fool of yourself? I... No. If I was fool of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Um, 
Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Jenny started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This music sounds like we're at the circus. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Jenny! She... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. We're fighting over writing styles. This is so silly. What's the point of making your poems all conv convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Jenny. W wait, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning them most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Jenny? Um, well... Oh my god, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever might agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh my god! Okay. I mean, obviously, to be honest with you, I like Yuri more. I want her affection more. And I do agree with Yuri on the writing style. Not 100%. I did like Natsuki's poem. Um, it was cute, but I don't know. Help me, Sayori! <sighs> I'm gonna go Yuri. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing, no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. I was gonna say, when do I pick sides? Yuri means well. And if you just told her how you felt, then this would have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk or clear my head. Sayori, she didn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll... It'll spare me if I'm going to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches off her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh, she threw it in the trash. That makes me sad. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an ad adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri, how could anyone have, how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Okay, now you're giving her too much credit. Like, okay, it was quite that serious. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Jenny, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. 
Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. I I'm going to go make some tea. Uh, a good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. Oh, she's back! Hello, Natsuki. It was alright. Well, mostly. Jenny, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. That's so manipulative! I nod to myself with newfound determination. Just be yourself! Jenny! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? <laughs> no, I don't hate them! I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. <sighs> you know, Jenny? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is making me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Siri still hasn't caught on to the situation, kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Power two! Okay. Let's go forgive. I like forgive. Incongruent. Incongruent. I don't even know what that means. I wish I don't have my phone on me. I can't Google that right now. Misfortune, alone, hopeless, charm. I'm gonna go with alone. I notice how the girls jump when I pick a word. Or a specific girl jumps. Um, oh, I really like Destiny, and I really like Eternity. And Kiss. Um, Eternity. Or Destiny. I don't know. Destiny. I got Yuri on that one. Depression, Together, Massacre, Heart, Peace, Puppy, Tears, Sadness, Variance, Contamination. Um... I don't like Massacre, but I, if I pick it, I wonder who would jump. I'm very curious. Who the frick would like that word? Let's go Tears. Sayori. She jumped at the other sad one, too. Alone? Alone in Tears? Is Sayori really, like, sad? She's secretly sad and depressed. Um, Papa Disown, Hurt, Poof, Melody, Tragedy, Portrait, Tenacious. Tenacious. Raindrops. I like tenacious raindrops. Tenacious. 
Got Yuri on that one. Grief, Wrath, Desire, Promise, Whisper, Extraordinary, Horror, Dazzle, Boop, Uncanny. When Yuri read my poem, she said extraordinary. So I'm going to pick that one. Ooh, so Yuri jumped anyway. Holiday friends, nature warm, fester, rain cloud, sunny embrace, explode. Love. Explode. Or fester. Ooh, I like fester. Essence, milk, giggle, cry, despise, vanilla, chocolate, fireflies, heaven scent, silly. I like fireflies. Firefly sounds nice. What is essence? Heaven scent. That sounds beautiful, actually. Let's go with that one. Yuri jumped on that one. Um, nibble, shiny time, anime, analysis, bubbles, aura, dark, vertigo, comfort. Let's go with aura. Philosophy, climax, laugh, incapable, unstable, excitement, flower, disarray, anger, electricity. I picked climax and electricity last time. Um, I do like unstable in philosophy. I'm gonna go unstable. We got Yuri. Headphones, lucky, loud, broken, unrequired. I got that one last time. And suicide. So jump, cute, rose, romance. Broken. Let's go broken. Sayori. Oh. For her poem to be so cutesy, you would, you know, like, why is she jumping? I just, just don't, I can't connect them. I can't connect. But she could just be one of those people that hide her depression well. Um, pink graveyard prayer, jumpy, pout, bouncy, family, breathe, sweet fear. I don't really like any of these. Pout. Let's go pout. Mm. Oh, Natsuki jumped on that one. Heartbeat, fluffy, whistle, pleasure, daydream, empty, secretive, pure, vivacious. I like that. I think I picked that last time, but I still, I really like it. I like that word. Ribbon, summer, beauty, landscape, game, Valentine, treasure, atone, lollipop, infinite. I like atone and infinite. Um, atone. Mouse, shame, vacation, dance, joy, spinning, waterfall, awesome, inferno, sticky, inferno, cheer, party, fireworks, happiness, crimson, existence, cage, bliss, music, flying, crimson, clouds, she's, I feel like she's really gonna like my poem, clouds, coven, email, death, intellectual, special, sensation, skirt, melancholy, sunset, death, Sayori jump. I'm so curious about that. Flee, determination, disoriented, after image. I don't. After, after image? I don't know what that is. Skipping, universe, captive, scars, lust, play, universe. Fickle, anxiety, pain, nightgown, fun, vivid, infallible, passion. Sing ocean, passion. Parfait, precious, uncontrollable, meager, whirlwind, pope, unending, hair, sparkle, lipstick. Uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. Okay. I think on that note, I'm going to save and stop that right here. On uh, the next episode, we are going to obviously read our poem again to everybody and read their poems. Um... I'm hoping Yuri really digs it. I got a lot of Yuri's jumping. If that's what it means. If that's what, like, the girls jump, they like it the most. If that's what it means. I'm hoping Yuri likes my poem. And we can move further on that. So I hope you guys check out the next episode. And I'll catch you later.